APC crisis does not end. All of the state chapters, um, they, they have their own share of crisis. Ekiti APC Congress, Tinubu's son-in-law in battle with Fayemi. This, uh, uh, the battle has been on, you know, the, the, the battle of the ownership of um, <laughs> this region. Who is in charge? Who is the leader? That battle has been ongoing for some time. And we know that uh, obviously Tinubu's son-in-law, Ojo, is obviously a loyalist of Tinubu. Very obvious. He's the son-in-law. So all enemies of Tinubu becomes his enemy. All friends of Tinubu becomes his friend. Right now, this Tinubu's son-in-law is accusing um, Fire Me of doing something. APC, um, they are ready for their different congresses. Dates have been set. And you know from that congress, um, they will make appointments and um, leadership positions will go around. The, the politics, the game wants to start playing. The game has started right now. Well, we'll bring you all of the details in a moment. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Thank you once again. An all-progressive Congress chieftain in Ekiti State and former House of Representative member Oyetunde Ojo Friday accused the party leadership in the state of plotting anti-democratic manipulations that he said could lead to the imposition in the coming Congress. Ojo, who is son-in-law of the APC national leader Asewaju Bola Tsinubu, alleged that the Ekiti State government, led by Governor Kayode Fayemi, had begun. The process of compiling names of his preferred officials from war to state levels in an attempt to impose and frustrate the Congresses. This was as the APC in the state at a ceremony performed by the state chairman Paul Omotosho on Friday inaugurated a seven-member electoral committee headed by Chief Samuel Abijide. Omotosho said the committee will assist members of the National Congress Committee assigned to the state to monitor and coordinate Congresses in the state and, as well, ensure a hitch-free and successful Congress. However, Ojo accused the party leadership of sharp practices ahead of the Congress. He alleged the state government has directed that all world meetings and such other party gatherings be stopped forthwith to block all dissent from rising objections so that he could cost home with the names of his loyalists for the Congresses. We are calling on the National Caretaker Committee of our party, the leaders of APC, to be alive to the subterranean move and act accordingly, as the people have resolved not to allow any such imposition in our party again. Never again shall we fold our arms and watch our rights being taken by fiat by a governor whose loyalty to the APC is in doubt. Never shall we allow a governor who once robbed us of our hard-earned victory in 2014 to force us into another political Siberia. But the state APC Publicity Secretary Ade Ajayi said the committee was specifically composed to conduct free, fair and credible congresses in the state, saying the former federal lawmaker, who had been suspended from the party, lacked moral standing to make such a statement. Ajayi said, We are assuring our people that the congresses will be free and fair. That is the focus of the committee. Nobody will be marginalized. We'll follow the party's constitution to conduct the congress that will accommodate all members and tendencies. It was just um, yesterday yeah, that President Mohamed Buhari was uh, boasting that um, the party um, has bounced back to shape, that in all of the states there is no um, litigation, everyone is working where there is unity, there is love in all of the party. Just yesterday, less than 24 hours that this one is happening. Tinubu and um, um, the Ekiti state governor, we all know the position. We know they come out in the open to say um, they don't have any Fed. They are working well. Everything is well. But we know that um, it, that is not the case. And also there are rumored interest in the 2023 general election. Bola Tinubu's own is very clear, but he's denied it at all points in time. So even all of his campaign um, uh, support groups, all of the campaign activities that have been going on for him and uh, all of the people coming out um, to support him to run for the 2023 presidential election, he's always disassociated himself from those that uh, those people are just acting on their own. He doesn't have any involvement. Another thing that has um, caused the battle between um, the Akiti state governor and um, Tinubu is the fact that um, they are in argument over who controls um, 
uh, this zone who is who is the who is the the lord who is the boss but Latinobu, we know very well that with all that is going on in the party right now he doesn't really have much weight he doesn't have much weight the national leader of the party when even the caretaker committee is meeting they are not um, he's not part of them this extension that was given Tinubu was not in that meeting Tinubu's son-in-law uh, at one point in time we know the party suspended him and then um, there were speculations that it was because of Tinubu that was why all of these arrows are coming that even what happened to Adam Sushomole, the national um, chairman of the All Progressive Congress, that all of these were targeted at Tinubu just to reduce all of his influence ahead of the 2023 um, election. Who knows that is why he's, uh, he has not really even come out openly. Maybe he's still trying to weigh the waters because all of the things that have been done to him. Um, um, Ojodu is um, Tinubu's son-in-law. It's um, Tinubu's son-in-law. Right now, he's accusing Fire Me that um, this APC Congress that is going to hold that Fire Me wants to um, put all of his loyalists. But this thing, you guys are all APC members. You will not seem to amaze us. And because of all of this crisis within their party, that is why the party cannot even lead the country properly. APC is the ruling party. See the shape that the country is at the moment. It's in a very bad shape. Bad shape. The insecurity is 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 at the, at the rooftop. And what is most surprising is that with all of this coming out now, everyone knows right now that uh, what Buhari says, <laughs> it's not to be trusted because see him boasting just yesterday, less than 24 hours, that uh, the party has bounced back. They are ready to um, take over power, to retain power. They are ready to retain power come 2023. They he really um, commended the Ketika Committee for all they have done, that they've done very well to reconcile aggrieved members. <laughs> Aggrieved members are still here in a kitty state. Maybe they need to direct um my Malabrini um Ketika committee here. Um, Ojo is complaining, all of his concerns that he's raising now, uh, the lamentation, everything he's lamenting about, he's calling on the Ketika committee to come and see all of um Fire Me's plans. That Fire Me has planned to uh, uh to is plotting anti-democratic manipulations. That could lead to imposition in the in the coming congress so all of his loyalists will be the people to be in charge of uh, um, leaders of the world the local governments and all of that but on the other hand uh the state publicity secretary is stating that this person is suspended from the party doesn't even have any right to speak in the party interesting well guys let's hear your take down below in the comment section apc drama will never cease to end uh um this ruling party Thank you once again, guys, for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again on more updates. Bye.